more. I've got Paul Gonzalez and Tracy uh, Hampson from Century 21 Troop Real Estate. Paul, good to have you back. And Tracy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Indeed. So uh, what? let's talk about this. So the real estate, I mean, first of all, rates are staying low. The Fed decided, forget about it. We're not going to raise anything. Uh, secondly, even though houses are going up here in the Santa Clarita Valley, there it is still very, very, very much a seller's market, right? Ish? Very, very much. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of like where, where you are. It's so funny. Real estate, we get a, an opportunity to create our own destiny. So right. uh, our, quote, seller's market is uh, good. But what happens is it's all uh, contingent upon – the house that you're selling. That's true. I mean, you can have a house next door that has been on the market for 60, 70, 80 days because it's not quite as uh, nice as the one next door. We're talking about the, the white elephants or maybe mm. the location backed up to something so that could yeah, be several it's, it's things. It's all really contingent upon the actual property itself yeah. and the painstaking efforts that that seller has taken to get that very important sold right very exactly. and this is this is the thing having a professional coach you through this as a seller what you got to look out for what you should do to bring buyers through the door very important right the most important is that they listen to you and they actually do it true <laughs> that so let's talk about this tracy you are like our tipster i will be yes coming and, july 1st and this is the but and as this is a little bit of a precursor then this as far is, as yeah. what so what what are we talking about tip wise what kind of tidbit are you going to throw out here today Oh, uh, today. Are huh? we? Do you have anything in anything? Well, I've got it all, yeah, in line, ready to go, but I don't want to give anything away. Okay. Um, the first one's going to be a little controversial. I think we might get a little, I don't know, some feedback, <laughs> good and bad, but it's questions that you should ask. But, and this is important. Yeah. We're talking about this, though, yeah. as far as, as sellers listening to the, the agent. It's like, I, I would imagine probably if you went to whatever their work and what they did and you didn't do what they asked you to do, how that would go. But, you know, sellers also very, very tied in emotionally to their Absolutely. homes sometimes. And that's Absolutely. the thing is, is, very emotional. Is, is trying to actually separate that emotion and understand yeah. that it's, it's, a, it's a business deal. And, and I know sometimes there are situations where uh, sellers um, so emotionally attached to a certain part of the house that may not be. So playing to the common denominator is probably a big thing, right? Absolutely. When you're talking about that. Uh, yeah, and it's hard especially when you're basing anything on emotions. And you have to be ready and have that detachment. Okay, we are going to sell and then move forward. But yeah, emotions always play a big part. Exactly. So with with the market, it's been kind of up and down, but the inventory is still a little lower. Is it starting to build up? We have four months okay. of inventory, and we it's like getting a little better. Six. Yeah, six is a, a real good average. Six to eight is a real healthy Mm-hmm. healthy number. Now, when we talk about that, we talk about uh, four or four, six or eight months. What are we talking about? What does that mean to, to the average buyer or seller when you're saying uh, four or six or eight months worth of inventory? Are we talking about uh, how long it takes to sell a home or just how many homes are on the market? A little bit of both, actually. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, we currently have, I, I believe, 119 homes currently, and that was also Valencia, Stevenson Ranch, uh, Newhall, Saugus, and Canyon Country, all combined on those stats. Um, but whether it's a buyer's market or a seller's market, just listen to your realtor. Right. Um, and if you see something you like, put in a good offer. Don't lowball it. I mean, it's common sense. Right. Well, and that's the thing, too, having a professional, really, on both sides, showing you what the fair market value is, because that's right. still what's important. Right. You're not... You're not negotiating for a used car. Not exactly. that there's anything wrong with used car negotiation, <laughs> but it, it's, com- it's a completely different sense of value. You're talking about real property versus personal property. Right. You're talking about something that's going right. to grow in value versus something that's going to depreciate. It's a whole different you ball of wax. Lose. I mean, right. real estate is easily the best yeah. investment. It, it's really been the, uh, outperforming most other assets. I've got investors that are now coming out of the stock market a little bit. We're seeing a lot of cash sales. I see a lot of Pacific Rim uh, sales and people from outside of the country coming in yep. and purchasing right now. So it's a very, very healthy market. But I think, like you said, as opposed to a used car, mm-hmm. it's like a, 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 it's a pre-owned vehicle or a pre-owned certified there property. Go. There we there go. go. And there's a big difference. I mean, and that's, I think, the disparity of what stays on the market for a long period of time and what doesn't. The property that's staying on the market for a long part, period of time is – more of a used car where you have the properties that are going in a week or two or three, and if they're marketed correctly, uh, are, are going off the market 
uh, you know, anywhere between 15 and, and 25 days, yep. some, somewhere around there, getting an escrow. Right. So there's always going to be a difference in whatever you buy, whatever, whatever the property is, whatever the car is, whatever you're looking at. If you're buying something, you're going to have the top of the line, and you're going to be able to search. So I can buy a Chevy Impala. And I could get 50 in the market, and one has been on the market for a year and a half, and one just went on the market yesterday and sold. Yeah. Well, and that's important to understand, too. And in, in, in the growth of equity in these is kind of a different story there. The other right. thing, too, I like to think of it as a win-win because even if there is a, a little bit of a limited inventory, it's also the, the low, low, low interest rates are still, I mean, historically low, but below 4%. Good heavens, increasing, free money. No kidding. Increasing the purchasing power for buyers. So that's what's Absolutely. really important. So yeah, when we talk about the prices, you're still talking about a monthly payment that's mostly affordable for most people who are moving out here. Right. It's been a great thing. I mean, uh, the, the unease of the world economy is really doing us as being continuing to be a healthy market from a monetary point of view from raising prices uh, job rates are not what they wanted to be we've got uh back in europe we have uh you know people removing themselves from from items so the libor rate is has been really uh not as good as as, as it could be and so that allows us to keep those low mortgage rates right now. But more importantly, I don't care how low the mortgage rate is, uh, there's all kinds of opportunities for qualifying now. A lot of people believe that uh, it's really hard to get a loan. And although uh, Dodd-Frank has come, all, all, come along, and although we have checks and balances, it's just a matter of meeting criteria and truly finding the right mortgage lender and the right realtor, and I think that's important. Uh, Tracy takes her clients by the hand, and she utilizes them, and she takes them through their process, not her process. And I think that's very, very important because it's in her business, it's truly all about the client and their needs. Exactly. And it's really important to understand if you're not sure, you don't think, or maybe you don't even think you qualify at the moment for a home, the idea is to talk with a professional who can put you on that path. Exactly. Maybe not today, but it could be even, let's say you have a three-month, six-month, one-year plan to get your credit in shape, to get the money in shape so that you can qualify exactly. and learn about your options. Paul Gonzalez, Tracy Hampson, Century 21 Troop Real Estate. And Tracy, we are looking forward to starting your real estate tip of the week coming up soon. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank really you. appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you very much.